See, the real flex in life isn't about the car you drive. It's not. It's not about all your material possessions. The real flex in life is how many people can you help. The real flex in life is how you treat others, how you show up as a father, how you show up as a husband and being a leader and being a gentleman and going out of your way and living above reproach and not being average. The real flex in life is changing yourself, is evolving, is investing in self-innovation and believing in a future is creating something so great in your mind, you're creating this person in your mind that you know you need to be. And you're so obsessed with becoming this person that every single day you wake up with intention, you wake up with focus, you wake up with drive, you wake up with a goal that you're pursuing. The goals that you're pursuing shouldn't be external goals because you can't fix the inside from the outside. You'll be like a bucket with holes. Nothing in this world can ever fix what's broken on the inside. You'll still feel like the same person. Trust me. The solution lies within you. In doing this work, inside and outside of the clinical setting for over a decade, helping thousands of people What have I found? I found that the real change, the real change and the real, like blowing somebody's mind, the wow factor, the it factor. You want to be attractive? Transform who you are. You want to be attractive? You want to blow people's minds? It's not about driving around in a nice car. It's about creating such a powerful transformation that people are blown away by how committed you are to changing. And that's the power about human beings. We're never stuck the way that we are. You're not stuck the way you are. You're not hardwired this way. Stop believing that. Stop telling yourself that story. You're just not obsessed with becoming somebody different yet. And the pain of staying the same is not greater than the pain of change. But when it does get to be worse, when the pain of staying the same gets greater than the pain of change, then you'll do something about it. And when you're ready, I'll be right here waiting.